Hi, in this video I'll be looking at structuring your draft using the court board and synopses. On the left is the binder where we have various documents. Within the draft area we keep the documents that we intend to have in our final manuscript. Clicking on any individual document will show us the contents of that document in the editor. If we open the inspector, metadata associated with the document also becomes visible. What we are mainly interested in for this tutorial is the index card at the top of the inspector. The index card begins with the title of the document. As you can see, if I change the title on the card, the document title also gets changed in the binder. You can see that the title has also changed at the header bar of the editor. The main area of the index card is important, as this is where we can associate a synopsis with the document. So, let's add a synopsis to this document. A couple of sentences that will tell us at a glance what this document is about. That is obviously useful in itself, because it doesn't matter if we create the text first or the synopsis first. We could add the synopsis only after we've typed the main text, or we could enter it first as a reminder of what we intend to write in the main text. But the synopsis becomes really powerful when we are outlining in the corkboard or outliner, because in those modes we can see the synopses of multiple documents at once and thus get an overview of how everything is fitting together. Let's take a look at how we enter corkboard mode so that we can see the synopsis we have just created for this document in context. The first thing to note is that clicking on the corkboard icon in the toolbar shows the sub-documents of the current document. So, were I to click on the corkboard right now, it would be blank because this document has no sub-documents. Any document can have sub-documents though, so any document can be viewed in corkboard mode. Note that if I drag another document from the binder onto the corkboard, it becomes a sub-document of this document. To see the synopsis of this document in context then, we need to click on its parent document, which in this case is a folder. Folders open in corkboard mode by default. Note that other than the mode in which they open, there is very little difference between text files and folders. We can deselect the corkboard, like so, for this folder to see its underlying text. See our related video on the flexibility of folders in Scrivener for more on that though. Also note that the index card in the inspector shows the synopsis for the enclosing folder at the moment. But if I select an index card on the corkboard, then the inspector is updated to show the information related to the document associated with a selected card. So now we can see the index card for the document and any other documents within the folder. We have a synopsis overview of all documents contained within a binder folder. This means that we don't have to read the text contents of each document to get an overview of our structure. We can just read the index cards. The great thing about this is that we can very easily move the cards around and restructure our draft. You can see that an index card movement is immediately reflected in the binder. We can double click on a card to edit it and as with any other OSX control hit enter to end editing. Note that when we do so the text in the index card in the inspector gets updated. If you want to enter return characters into the text of a synopsis, either use the index card in the inspector or hold the option key while hitting return when editing synopses in the corkboard. The process of option returning also works in outliner mode. If you want to view the contents of the underlying document for each card while working in the corkboard view, that's easy too. Just split the editor by clicking on the icon in the header bar. Then click on the button with opposite facing arrows that can be seen in the footer bar. This will turn blue to indicate that it is active. With this turned on, when we select an index card in the corkboard, its associated document will be opened in the other editor. Clicking on the button again turns this behavior off. By the way, notice that option clicking switches between horizontal and vertical splits between the editors. So, synopses and index cards allow us to get an overview of our documents without having to skim read all of the text, but they can also be used 
to plan content that has yet to be written. For instance, whilst planning or restructuring, we may decide that another document is required between these two documents because we need an extra scene to break up the pace in our novel or because we missed an important argument in our thesis. We can simply press the Add button to add another index card to the corkboard. The new card will get added after the card that is currently selected. Note that you can just hit the Enter key to add cards too, unless you have turned this behaviour off in Preferences. The title area is selected, ready for us to give a title to the new document. And we can hit Tab to move to the Synopsis area and add a couple of sentences that will remind us what we intend to write in this additional document. Once you're happy with the structure of your draft, you can simply go to the document associated with the added index card and start writing your text. We could do that by selecting it in the binder of course. Note how it appears between those two documents in the binder too. Or we can double click on the icon in the corner of the index card to drill down into the underlying document. You will notice that the icon is currently an index card which indicates that this document only has a synopsis associated with it and no text. If you are the type of writer who likes to outline your work before you start writing, you can thus use the corkboard to create lots of blank documents creating synopses relating to what is going to happen. Once you're happy with your structure and ready to start the actual writing, you can then go back to your documents and start filling them in, referring to the synopsis in the index card in the inspector. If you wanted to add more than a synopsis to your document, perhaps to make a few extra notes about ideas that you have for the document, you can do this by going to document notes within the inspector. When you then go to the document to start writing, you have got a bit more detail to refer to. If you are the sort of writer who prefers to write first and structure later, you can do this also. Just type away, creating new documents where it feels right perhaps a document for each scene or each chapter or for each thematic argument or whatever. Then go to the corkboard to get an overview of what you have achieved so far. You obviously have to associate a synopsis with each document otherwise the index cards will be blank but this is easily done. It's best to write a short description of each document in the document synopsis yourself but you can just press this button in the upper right of the inspector to auto generate a synopsis based on the first few sentences in the associated document. If you select some text from within the document before pressing the button, it will use the selected text as a synopsis. But to reiterate, it is definitely more useful to write a synopsis based on what the document is about or intended to be about. Of course, many writers are likely to use a combination of these approaches, writing and structuring at the same time. That's fine too. There's no set order or rule about how you have to go about doing anything in Scrivener. You can write, add some synopses, make a note for a document you need to write later, and then move on to a later section. Whatever works best for you and the project on which you are working. You don't even have to use the index cards or synopses at all if you don't want to, but they are a powerful structuring tool and they are there if you need them. That concludes our tutorial video on using the corkboard with synopses. I hope that it has been a good introduction. Goodbye for now.